trashy bar Another glass and I am going places Makes me laugh above the iron Hey, awesome people. Welcome to another episode of So Addicts. Yes, I have been gone for two whole weeks and I'm so sorry, guys. I just want to apologize before we actually even get started with today's video. And I do have a good reason. I've actually been really, really focused on grad school because uh, two weeks ago was my final. So I was just crazy and crazy just everywhere all over the place so i didn't have time to shoot any video for you guys but luckily for me i am successfully done with grad school i graduated two days ago yeah and the celebration was pretty pretty awesome i'm actually going to show you guys um some clips from the graduation at the end of this video so make sure you stay tuned but um <laughs> my inspiration for this video was actually a couple of weeks ago i got this really really cool idea i didn't know what to wear for my uh graduation ceremony so i decided to transform my undergrad graduation gown into a dress yeah <laughs> yeah, so I transformed my undergrad graduation gown because it was just sitting in my closet. I mean, when you get your gown, for people that have probably already graduated years, this year, whenever, you get your graduation gown, you spend so much money on that thing, and you just leave it sitting in your closet. So I decided to transform it into a beautiful dress that I could wear for my grad school ceremony. And I really, really think it came out so good, guys. I was so super excited, and I think I looked cute. Let me know what you guys think. So I'm really excited to go into today's tutorial with you guys. If you're new here, welcome to the So Addicts family. I'm so happy to have you guys here with me today. And if you haven't hit the subscribe button yet, make sure to subscribe to this channel to join the So Addicts family. And let's just get started with our tutorial. So the first thing we are going to do to get this started is obviously taking my graduation gown and taking everything apart. So I am going to be separating the sleeves from the top part and the shell of the um, gown itself. So as you guys can see, I am just going to use my seam ripper and kind of just um, remove the sleeve from the main body and you want to do this on both sides. So you can take your seam ripper or your um, scissors or anything that's basically going to help you rip your sleeves from the main body of the gown. So at this point I already took my sleeves off on both sides as you guys can see and I also took off um, the top part of my uh, gown now the sleeves I'm gonna be using to construct the top part of my dress later so as you guys can see I also took out that top part of my gown and we're not gonna be needing that so you could just put that aside so when you open it it should look something like this now we're just gonna tackle this extra fabric we have at the zipper area so you want to have um, as much fabric as you need so I'm just taking off the zipper because we're not gonna be needing it except you guys want to and you can change the style however you um, like so you have that extra fabric at the side so you want to make sure to open up all the seams and threads and everything to make sure you have that extra um, fabric because we're gonna be needing it later on in the video so after doing this for one side, it should look something like this. I'm going to go ahead and actually press this later, um, but it should look something like this. And you also want to make sure to repeat the same process for the other side as well. So now we're going to get started with the construction of our dress. Now I also added the lining fabric because this fabric was super, super sheer and you really kind of don't want people to see parts of your dress that you don't want to be seen. So make sure to use the lining fabric if you must. And we're going to start with the construction of the top of our dress. So now I'm taking one of my sleeve pattern and I'm folding this equally in half. Now we're going to construct the top part of our dress. And for this part, you need three measurements, the measurement of your bust, the measurement of your waist, and the measurement for your neck all the way to your waist or your belly button now you're gonna divide your bust by four and your waist by four so now I'm just going ahead and drawing a straight line across my fabric and I'm just measuring to make sure that I have enough fabric in my sleeve so now I'm just gonna go ahead and actually draw a straight line across my sleeve now I have my straight line and I'm gonna draw another line which is um, half an inch away from that line now this is my seam allowance so I'm just getting the seam allowance out of the way in the beginning. Now we're going to measure from that second line all the way to the bottom, which is the um, measurement from my neck to my waist, which is about 10 inches. So whatever your neck to your waist was, this is what you're going to um, mark out at this point. 
Now I also have that measurement. Now I'm also measuring my waist measurement. Now your waist is divided by four. So if your waist is 40, you divide that by four, which would be 10. So you measure 10 out there and you also divide your bust and whatever your measurement is, you mark at the top. Now we're going to connect these two points together. We have our bust points, our waist points, and um, the top is created. Now we're just going to go ahead and actually add a half inch seam allowance all across our lines. So once you have this all constructed, your bust, your waist, and your side seams, I'm just going ahead and putting a couple of pins so mine can stay nice and flat, and we're just going to cut this out neatly. So at this point you have your front and we're pretty much going to repeat the same process for the back. Now I'm just um, laying my front on the pattern for my back and as you guys can see I'm actually drawing a half inch away from the fold line just because I'm trying to get a center back, two center backs actually for my sleeve. So I'm drawing a half inch away. This is where my zipper is going to go. You don't want your back to be on fold. So when you have that half inch we're actually going to divide it and cut it into two. So you have your front and your back. Your front is one piece and your back is two pieces. So now we're going to go right ahead and start the construction of the bottom of her dress. Now for this you need your waist measurements again, your hip measurement, um, your measurement from the waist to the highest hip point, and the length of your skirt. So now I'm drawing the line straight across just like we did for the front and I'm also adding a seam allowance. Now we're going to go right ahead and actually measure our waist out which is your waist divided by four. So whatever the measurement is you're going to mark this at the point here. So when you have this marked out now we're going to measure from that second line all the way to get our um, highest hip point which mine was about nine. So you want to make sure to measure on your body your um, waist to your highest hip point on your hip. Now from that line, I'm actually measuring my hip measurement out, which again is divided by four. So now you have your hip points, your waist points, and we're just going to measure how long we want our skirt to be. And mine was about 18 inches. You can make this longer or shorter if you want. Now we're drawing a straight line across just like we did for the waist points. Now we have our waist, our hip point, and we're also going to be drawing this all the way down to the bottom of our hip. Now I'm using this French curve to get that nice hip curve from my waist to my hip point. Now if you don't have a French curve you can easily just kind of freehand this a little bit <laughs> and uh, if it really doesn't fit you could always go back in and adjust when you're sewing on the sewing machine. So now I'm just drawing that nice curve to um, give my hip measurement and I'm just going to draw this all the way down on the straight line to the bottom of my hip. Now I'm going to taper this a little bit at the bottom because I really don't want this to be kind of a um, straight skirt so I'm going to taper this a little bit to my knee so I'm coming in about three quarters of an inch and then I'm going to connect this to my hip point as you guys can see. So that's the old mark and that's the new mark. So now I'm just adding seam allowance all around my skirt. I'm adding seam allowance all to the side making sure that I'm considering my new mark and I'm just going to cut this out just like we did for the front. Now we're going to go right ahead and actually construct our back. So the same thing we did for the top of our dress, I am measuring a half inch away from the edge and I am pinning my front to the fabric and cutting out my back. So remember you also want to separate your backs, make sure you have two backs. So now I have all my pattern pieces uh, cut out. I also cut it out in my lining fabric. Remember, you want to do the same thing you do for the main fabric to your lining fabric as well. So the first thing we're going to do is to actually attach the top of our dress to the bottom of our dress together. So you want to attach this for your front pieces and also for your two back pieces as well. So we're going to be sewing these seams on the sewing machine. So you're sewing this down and also this down as well. So when you sew it down, it should look something like this. You also want to make sure to press this down really nice and neat. Now we're going to go right ahead and actually attach our back pieces together. So I'm going ahead and actually measuring how long my zipper is. My, long, my zipper is uh, 22 inches, so I'm measuring down about 20 inches and actually going to sew from that point all the way to the bottom. So this is going to be closed off so you could put your zipper in later on. So when you have that all sewn up, now we're going to attach our front and back pieces together, making sure right sides faces right sides, and we're just going to sew together at our side seams. So I went ahead and actually sewed this down, and it should look something like this, all nice and neat. And you also want to make sure to do the same thing for your lining. Your lining 
is basically the um, outer fabric, but it's in the lining fabric. So now we're gonna go ahead and actually attach our zipper. So my zipper is 22 inches long, and I do have a video showing you details step by step how to put in an invisible zipper. So if you guys want to check that video out, it is here and it is also on my channel. So now I've successfully installed that zipper. It looks nice and neat, and I also have my lining. So my lining, you want to make sure that the wrong side is facing you, just like this, and we're gonna tuck that into to our main um, dress so when you open it up it should actually have the right size facing you so now we're actually gonna connect this at the top of our dress so when I say connect I mean you are gonna connect it where the right side of your lining is facing the right side of your main fabric so I'm going in and actually turn in this where the right side of my lining, as you guys can see is matching the right side of my main fabric and I just pull that out so now we're gonna connect these together and actually sew this straight on the sewing machine. So as you guys can see, I am putting the right side of my lining facing the right side of my main fabric and I'm just pinning this across that um, top of my dress. So you wanna sew this down on the straight line from end to end. So after sewing this down, it should look something like this, nice and neat. So now we're gonna go ahead and actually put in our elastic. And I actually have white elastic just laying around, so excuse me, if your dress is black, you probably want to use black elastic. So this elastic is actually uh, three quarters of an inch, so we're going to sew down a nice one inch line, which is a little bigger than three quarters of an inch, or elastic could fit in nice and neat. So we're going to sew down a one inch line from the edge of my zipper all the way to the other edge. Now you want to make sure it's not sew over the zipper, you just want to sew as close to the zipper as you can. So I'm going ahead and actually measuring one inch a away from the edge of my dress and I'm drawing this nice straight line so I can have a nice guide when I'm sewing this straight line on the sewing machine. So you want to just sew that across your chest. So I went ahead and actually sewed this down as you guys can see. Again, you do not want to go over that zipper. You want to have that hole there so you could put in your elastic. So I have my elastic joined to a safety pin and I'm just going to pass this through that hole at the top of my dress. So we're just going to keep passing the elastic until we have the right measurement for our chest. Now the chest measurement is actually um, over the bust. So this is going to go over your bust and you want to have the right measurement for this where this sits nice and snug. So I'm just going ahead and actually measuring this, making sure I have the right measurement. And when you do, you just want to go ahead and actually snip your elastic, get rid of the excess ones. And now we're actually going to sew this on the sewing machine. So again, we're going to fold this in nice and neat and actually sew over this on our sewing machine again you do not want to catch your zipper you want to do this nice and neat without actually catching that zipper at all so I went ahead and actually sewed this on the sewing machine as you guys can see everything is nice and neat the elastic is sewn down and we're going to go to the bottom of our dress so we're addressing the situation down here so I have um, extra fabric from my gown that I cut earlier at the beginning of this video now we're gonna be creating some ruffles at the bottom of our dress so you want to make sure to have a nice um, rectangle long uh, stripper fabric I guess so I'm just getting rid of all that excess uh, fabric at the top so now I have this nice rectangle long fabric that I can use to work for the bottom of my ruffles so my design is to actually do a high low so I want a, a higher front and a lower back now you could do yours the same across but mine was actually a high low front and back so I'm just going ahead and actually measuring how um, long I want my front to be which is obviously going to be um, shorter than my back so I measured it to be about five inches so I'm just going ahead and actually marking five inches across this long strip of gigantic fabric and I'm measuring five inches across so I can have that for my my front ruffles so I'm just cutting out my five inch strip making sure it's nice neat and I'm just gonna use this for my front ruffles so now you have that measurement for your front ruffles and you have the rest for your back now before we actually go ahead and construct my ruffles I'm gonna go ahead and actually finish the bottom of my front piece just like it is for the back here so I'm just gonna top stitch that on the sewing machine so I went ahead and actually top stitch this make sure to press so it lays nice and flat and as you guys can see it also matches um, the one for my back so now I'm going to fold my back uh, big piece in half and the goal here is to actually connect my front and my back in a seamless way. So because I do have a high low, I want my um, seam at the side seams to actually gradually have that high low effect. So I measured how long my front was, which is right there, and I'm creating this curve to give that um, seamless high low from the 
front of my dress to the back of my dress. So now I'm just cutting this making sure that I also add a um, nice uh, half inch seam allowance because I'm also going to be finishing this edge and connecting it to this point. So I have that nice um, curve right there because it is flowing from the front of my dress to the back of my dress as you guys can see. So we're going to go right ahead in our sewing machine and as you guys can see I did finish the hem of my back. So the ones that I actually cut off, I actually finished that hem, making sure that it connected neatly across my back. And I didn't press it yet, but you also want to make sure to press before you keep going. Um, so now we're just going to connect that at the side seams on both sides, making sure they're, they're nice and neat. So you also want to press this. So after pressing this down, now we're going to go right ahead and actually do big basin stitches across the edge of my attachment. So I'm going ahead and actually setting my machine to a five, which is a big basin stitch. And you just want to sew a nice straight line all along this edge. Now automatically, as you guys can see, it is even uh, kind of giving me that nice effect of the ruffle. And I'm just going to sew this all along till I reach the other side. You want to snap a long thread and we're just going to keep pulling until we have the right measurement for the bottom of our skirt. So as you guys can see, I'm pulling my thread, just distributing that uh, fullness from place to place, and we're going to do it until we have the right measurement for the bottom of our skirt. So now I actually did it, and I went ahead and pinned this all around the bottom of my skirt, as you guys can see. And then the next thing we're going to do is just to sew this down at a half inch all across the bottom of our dress. Now I've been doing this, as you guys can see, I'm just working that fullness in there, making sure it's laying nice and flat. And after doing that, you should have everything all sewn up now you want to make sure to also press this so it gives that nice um, good crisp finish so as you guys can see I have it all sewn up here you, this is my back which is definitely longer and this is my front and you have that nice transition from front to back everything is laid nice and flat now we're just gonna go ahead and actually finish our lighting now to finish the dress, I'm actually going to go into the lining and grab that extra uh, seam allowance at the lining and we're going to match this with the extra seam allowance at my zipper and turn this inside out. So once you have this turned inside out, your um, right side of your lining should also be kind of matching and facing the right side of your actual fabric and we're just gonna pin this along that zipper point so we're gonna actually sew along the zipper without actually sewing on the zipper if <laughs> so you want to make sure to actually connect this all the way to the bottom of the zipper and on the other side as well so I'm just using my pins and connecting from one point to the other point of my zipper as well so you're gonna sew this on the sewing machine. Once you have this all sewn up, and you wanna make sure to also press this so it's actually covered nice and neatly. I also went ahead and actually searched the bottom of my dress to give it that nice finish. So at this point, I have successfully created a dress out of my gown. Oh, here you are, face to face in this trashy bar. Another glass and I am going places Makes me laugh above the irony of everything I like the way you're thinking I don't really care about the music on the dance floor I don't really mind all the smokers in the bathroom I don't care at all, baby, you got my attention So you were saying, oh no I don't see the logic of things It's quite a to me. 